Each day, hundreds of people across the state of Arkansas are one day closer to what they call relief. Medical marijuana is in the process of being implemented. THV 11's Erica Ferrando starts off our series on the drug. Three months after voters in Arkansas voted in favor of legalizing medical marijuana, it's in the process of being implemented in the state. We looked into where the process stands now and what patients and doctors should expect. A simple game of Uno. Draw four. Is something to be treasured. Skip you. Especially for this single mom. Oh, you got me. Whose life can be described as anything but simple. I've never been in the hospital before, never had any health issues ever in my life. That is until a few years ago when Kacheryl Johnson was a student at Pulaski Tech and she started getting excruciating pain that was years later identified as a vascular necrosis, meaning a loss of blood to the bone. Her doctor's answer, pain medication and a total double hip replacement. Going to my daughter's gymnastics, going to the park, going to any any fun activities, it ceased because I was on all of these medications. Kacheryl says her doctors recommend she take 10 pills a day for pain, muscle spasms, and depression. By this time next year, she's hoping to be pill free. <laughs> he said no. Kacheryl met Lori Treese when she started fighting for medical marijuana. Lori suffers from fibromyalgia. It may be able to work enough, well enough to where I'm able to go back to work. That would be awesome for me. For these friends and other patients with 17 other conditions, including cancer, AIDS, Crohn's, Alzheimer's, as well as conditions causing intractable pain, severe nausea, or seizures, marijuana will be available in Arkansas, rule makers say, by early 2018. Rules and regulations are nearly finalized. Patients will be able to receive a registry ID card with a $50 fee and a written note from their physician. Both of my doctors have said no, that he would not recommend it. Still illegal under federal law, doctors aren't required to sign off on the drug. It's not an area of physiology and pharmacology that, that we're overly familiar with. Dr. Carlos Roman is on the Medical Marijuana Commission. He says for physicians, it's a game of tug of war to certify the need for a drug that's not taught in medical school and illegal under federal law, but something the state of Arkansas now says is an option. There'll be a lot of caution and there'll be a pretty large gap in knowledge for most of us. Countless bills could still drastically change the amendment. It's scary to watch the process. The, the goal of legislation should be we're going to do this. We voted on it. So let's do it the right way. Let's do it the safe way. Still a lot of questions waiting for answers, but when those registry ID cards are ready for applications. I'll be one of the first ones in line at the health department. I'll be able to actually spend more time with my child. The health department hopes to start accepting applications for ID cards by April. Tomorrow, we look at the business side of medical marijuana and meet those ready to be part of the market.